Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com. And if you wanted to help support the show, there are a couple ways you could do that. First of all, you could just share this video that does amazing things. Or, right over here, you could actually help financially if you wanted to. And the first thing that I want to talk about today is the Pope. I know this is not a Catholic news show, but everything he does seems to impact Christianity, so... And the reason that I wanted to talk about the Pope is not only is he the most influential person in Christianity, but according to Twitter, he's the most influential world leader in the entire world, getting eight times the average retweets and favorites than President Obama, who is the most followed world leader. I just figured I'd start the day with a fun fact. And speaking of Obama, though I do need to give him props for his correspondence dinner because it was hilarious, I am kind of disappointed with him in our government right now. <laughs> not that we're ever not, but I'm talking specifically about Saeed Abedini. If you've never heard that name before, he is in prison in Iran right now because he is a Christian. There have been talks to get him out, people have been keeping their hope. According to the White House press secretary, getting Abedini freed is completely off the table right now saying it certainly would interfere with the ongoing negotiations between the international community and Iran on their nuclear program. And it's just really hard to believe that America is going to simply leave them behind. Going on, something I almost forgot about, but it is very important, even though it is not Christian news. The police responsible for the death of Freddie Gray are being charged with homicide. Freddie Gray obviously being the man from Baltimore who was killed during a transport in a police van. And I am glad those police will find justice, but it doesn't bring Freddie Gray back, and that's just, that's terrible. And I'm gonna counteract all this negativity with some good news. Last Wednesday, we talked about 290 women and little girls being saved from Boko Haram. Well, now another 160 women and children have been saved, which again, huge victory for Nigeria. I am so happy to hear that. And the final story of the day is something that I found pretty interesting, and that is that GoFundMe has now changed their policy. I mean, we've talked all week about the bakery in Oregon that had to pay a fine for discrimination. They tried paying for the fine with a GoFundMe, but GoFundMe took the campaign down. Since then, a florist has had the same thing happen. And so GoFundMe's new policy is banning discriminatory acts. And so people that were trying to pay these fines are now no longer allowed to do so. Which I think is a tad hypocritical. You're going to deny business to people who were denying business? And I get to say that because I was on the liberal side of this fence. And it's interesting because there are a lot of Christians that are really mad about this. And they're like, discrimination, but... It, it's literally the same thing, which definitely doesn't make it right. What do I know, though? Question of the day is, who is the most influential person to you? I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com. My name's Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like subscribe, I will see you later, and God bless.